guys so I'm coming at you with a first impressions video and that is going to be on the new Mac Studio um, Studio water weight foundation with SPF 30 in it so I'm going to start off with my matte color corrector and the prep was prep and prime color corrector and it's the um, peach one which is called Recharge. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on my skin. And I'm going to use this foundation without any concealer. I'm not really doing too much today. I'm just doing a little bit of running around. So I don't need a real beat face today. Like I'm just not doing that. And I want to see how much coverage this um, foundation actually gives. I've been um, seeing different reviews on, I think I put way too much today of this um, stuff. I'm using the camera, so yeah. Um, anywho, um, <laughs> I done lost my train of thought. So. I heard many different reviews about this new water weight foundation and the reviews were saying that it doesn't give a whole bunch of coverage it just pretty it's pretty much like a a sheer foundation it's just something to even out your skin tone but that it gives a really nice um finish to it so we're gonna see i mean i'm an oily skin girl so i want to see how this actually holds up it's not hot outside it's fairly it's fairly cool um it's probably in the probably in the 60s or yeah i think it's in the 60s today so we'll see how this holds up with my skin um and how much coverage it gives since i have a little bit of um acne scarring pigmentation whatever you want to call it i'm st i'm not even sure if this proactive is really helping that I've been using on my face. I was using Origins. Um, and then I decided to try to proactive out since I heard so many good things about it. But yeah, I'm not really sure. I think it's helping, but I'm not I'm I'm not 100 percent on it. So either way, back to this foundation review. So it comes in a glass bottle, it looks like this, and it has a dropper. I ordered this online and got the shade NW47. In the past, MAC has said that um, I'm an NW45. I don't really believe I'm an NW45. It just never really matched 100% with my skin. I've tried NC50, which is a better match, but I'm going to see what NW47 does for me and see how that matches. I'm going to let this set in my skin a little bit before I put the makeup on and I'll come back. Okay, so I've let that set in my face a little bit. So I'm going to take the dropper. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to need. So yeah, we'll see. So I'm going to put four droplets on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take this Coastal Scents brush and just brush it onto my skin I found me a mirror yeah, yeah I'm gonna need more than just four drops huh? hmm. so it looks a little red on camera but it's really not when I'm looking at it in the mirror, um, I think it matches my skin pretty good. So I know that NW47 works for me. You probably can't even really tell too much of the difference. I guess you might be able to see a little bit of a difference here. So I'm going to take some more drops because four droplets just was not enough. And I just put more of a pump on my hand this time. So, I'm just going to um, spread it around a little bit. Yeah, 
And that's what we're doing here, keeping it going 24-7 with the best music. We're HUR 96.3, the adult mix. At Home is opening October 8th in the Manassas Mall. The grand opening is Saturday, October 17th. The first 100 customers get a $50 gift card. The next 250 customers get a free tote bag. So, so far, I mean, it has like a little glow to it and I'm kind of worried because like I said, I have oily skin. So, we'll see how this, um, how this holds up. I probably only had this on for maybe, I might have it on for about eight hours. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, I'm just going to get probably two more drops just to cover the forehead and go around my neckline. Well, under my jaw, actually. So, yeah, this doesn't offer any coverage. It is pretty sheer. Um, so, if you have acne scars, I'm not sure, um, you know, how this works with a concealer. Because even putting another little coat over where my acne scars are, it, um, it's not covering them. So this is just something that's light that you could put on to give yourself an even skin tone. It's more like a, I guess, a tinted moisturizer or BB cream. It's somewhere in that family because I don't really consider this a a covering foundation. Like this isn't full coverage. This isn't even to me. It's not even medium coverage because it's not. Yeah, it's this is one coat and it really all it did was just like give me give me like a little glow to my skin and just even it out. It's not that I have too much discoloration besides a little bit of darkness under my eyes and the um acne spots because with the proactive that has pretty much evened out my skin tone. That's one thing I will say that proactive has done. It it evened out my skin tone. So yeah, this is just Something to even your skin tone out pretty much. And if you want to build it up, you may be able to build it up. But I did see one video. I don't remember her name. But I saw one of her videos on this foundation. And she was saying that she put about four coats of it. Well, four layers onto her face. And there was no, there was no coverage. It just gave her a nice glow to her skin even out her skin tone and that was it but she did say you can put layers of this on and it doesn't look cakey so that's one thing i guess that is a plus about this vid that about this um i'm just so all over the place that's one thing about this um foundation that will be good for some of you who you know may put on more than just a few drops if you do put a lot on you don't have to worry about looking cakey so I'm going to set this and put my eyebrows on right now. It is 11:46 in the morning. Well, actually it's 11:41. So I'm going to just show you on my Garmin because my phone is on the charger and I'm going to come back at the end of my day and let you guys know how this held up. Bye. Hey guys. So it is now, um, 509. It probably looked like 209, but it's 509. Um, and I want to say that the foundation held up pretty well. I mean, it's a little, I can't really tell if it's just the natural glow of the foundation or if my oil was starting to seep through, but I didn't blot or anything. I did my running around. Um, I'm about to wash my face now. But the foundation is not a bad foundation. If you want more coverage, I guess you can mix a full coverage foundation in with it or however you choose to play with it. Um the foundation was $33 and I don't know I mean it, it's okay um it's it's okay for you know just something that like I said earlier just kind of uh even out your skin tone and for those who don't really like the makeup look but you want to still kind of put something on your face other than a BB cream or tinted moisturizer this would be something to try and you know go for and you may be able to even take some and probably do it like the cover effects drops and just drop it into your 
face moisturizer and just see if that how that works for you but overall the foundation is okay i think it may be a little too red for me i'm not sure but it looked a little red um around the hairline and that's only because i probably put the bronzer on it and the bronzer has a bit of a red undertone to it so that could be some that could be the reason i'm not sure but either way i uh i will give this um foundation probably a three out of five i thought it was going to be more coverage but it's not and it's not really too buildable in my opinion but if you guys try it let me know your experience with it and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye